My name is Anna, and you are listening to the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast 3430 Edition with your host and my stepdad, Emmett Michaels. Hey guys, welcome to the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast, 30 podcast in 30 days. This is your host, Emmett Muckles. Thank you for that wonderful tune. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Um, today we're going to talk about the one thing that everybody really doesn't have clarity on. I mean, if you ask someone... They don't have clarity on it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I want to give thanks to everyone who's listening to the show. Thank you for those in California, Virginia, Illinois, Indiana, Texas, Florida, Colorado, Michigan, New York State, Oregon, North Carolina, Ohio, New Jersey, Iowa, Louisiana, duh, the big N-O, Maryland, Georgia, Missouri, and the rest of the world. I'd like to thank the UK as well, and particularly, I'd like to thank France. Thank you for tuning into the show. It is an honor for me to be able to provide something that gives you at least some entertainment or gives you some inspiration, as typically we are a interview show, and we will get back to interviews. There will be some interviews that will be uh, parsed out during this the course of this month. So I may not get to all the topics that I have uh, slated for the 3430 podcast month in September. Let's get to the subject matter now. That is your purpose. What is your purpose? Can you clearly define what your purpose is in any experience that you're having? Whether it be at work, whether it be at home, whether it be your own item that you possess, which is your talent, your joy that brings you know you together and, and makes you feel whole. You know, a lot of people, if you ask them what they're on the elevator speech, what is your purpose? They will look at you like a deer in headlights. I'm like, oh, I gotta think about that for a minute. What is my purpose? Well, you know, it's really simple. A lot of times people have jobs or they do things for the purpose of other people in their life because they're providing something. For instance, why do you go to that job that you dislike so much? It has its purpose. A, it's there to provide for you and your family. However small or however great, it's still there to provide for you and your family. B, what is your purpose that you own that make, brings you joy? Do you know what that is? And a lot of times people just don't have a clue. They're, not, they're, they're just not versed in why am I here on earth? We're all asking that question, but we just keep going along hoping that one day it will pop up and go, oh, bam, that's my purpose. But here's the thing. Many of us have multiple purposes throughout the course of our life. We are not the same person throughout our decades of living on this planet. When you're a kid, you have one specific purpose. That's which is to learn, figure out what this world is and to grow and to find out what you like. Then when we get to be a teenager, we have another purpose. We have to figure out how to move in the world as we're progressing toward adulthood. Then when we get in our 20s, we're having another experience where our purpose kind of shifts and you start to look at your overall life purpose. Many of us don't quite nail it down right but that's fine because you still have enough time. You, As long as you have breath, you have time to find that purpose that brings you so much joy. Here's the method that I use when I'm kind of stuck, when I'm not knowing what's happening or, or how I'm connected with things, what my purpose is, is I sit down and I meditate. Now, let me take you to a place of meditation. <laughs> it's not easy. I started meditating about seven years ago off and on when I was feeling kind of ungrounded, uncentered, not knowing the direction I was needing to go with or if the direction I was going was proper. And what I learned was my mind is full of clutter. 
It's always on. Your subconscious and your consciousness are always on. Like you, they tell you, oh yeah, just close your eyes and concentrate on your breath. That takes some training. It took me a good month to finally figure out what was happening and and how things were coming to manifest. So a lot of times I will literally close my eyes and I actually change my breathing and open up my belly so that I can let that purpose flow into my life. Let it flow into your life. That's what the breath is about. Um, So you can get those things and you have to quiet your mind because here's what I always say. Prayer is when we talk to our God or God. I don't know. This goes out to so many different people. I don't want to offend anyone. But and then when we meditate is when we're listening to the answer that God has for us. Where you get the answer is like, which direction should I go? Sometimes you can't hear unless you're really, really quiet. And the only way to get quiet is to find a serene place. (sighs) Concentrate on that. I'm going to cover this again, but this all comes back to finding your purpose. When you're lost, when you feel unsure, when you're not quite knowing where it is, ask this question before you sit down and get quiet. What is my purpose regarding boom? And then get quiet. Do it for at least 10 minutes. It may take you about a week of those 10 minutes to get that, find out what that purpose is, but it will come to you. And it will come to you so easily that it will just all of a sudden manifest where you have it in your core. Like I said, this has been the Billionaire Lifestyle 30 podcast in 30 days. Please find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and TuneIn Radio. You can also just Google The Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast, and so many things will show up thanks to Google. Thank you, Google, and Bing, and everything else. See, that's that gratitude coming back. Uh, I want you guys to have an awesome day. Have an awesome moment. If you're listening to this at night, have an awesome night. But just remember, you are a diamond in the sky. There's not another one like you. So live accordingly. Do good deeds. Love yourself and love others just as much. If you ever want to doubt what I'm talking about, just look in the mirror. You you have to marvel at yourself. I mean, the fact that you can blink your eye, open up, and then you can see yourself again. The fact that you can pick something up with your hand. The fact that you can move around. The fact that you can create things from your thoughts makes you a billionaire. Remember, billionaires don't think about the money because it's already there. They think about what they can do that resonates with their heart and their purpose. Till next time, peace. Peace.